All right, well, here's just a few random things that I found in one of my closets. This is um, like a, uh, what do you call it? This is like a, like a window liner sort of kind of thing that you use with, um, uh, with like a portable air conditioning unit and you, you know, put it around your window so that the little thing doesn't uh, leak or I don't know, something. So, um, I don't use my portable air conditioning that often, thankfully, because I live in San Francisco. So since it's not up for months and months and months at a time, I always thought, oh, it doesn't make sense to use the fancy liner because then I'll just have to throw it away. So what do I use? Um, I usually use painter's tape because it gets the job done. It's easy to clean. And like I said, it's not attached for months and months. So what happens with the fancy liner? that is too nice to use for just a few days because I wouldn't want to have to throw it away. I'm going to throw it away um, because I'll never use it in San Francisco and I hope to be in San Francisco for a long time. So I'm throwing it away. Next we have probably 25 feet or more of um, Cat5 cable, networking cable, which was really useful at one time. Um, and it's not useful anymore because everything is all wireless and Wi-Fi and all that. And I don't think I'm gonna be buying things, new things that use a Cat5 cable. And technology only moves forward, not backwards. So this, what if I need it someday? I'm not going to need it someday. I'm in the phase of my life where things are downsizing. I'm never going to get a bigger office where I need to network computers from room to room. That's not going to happen. I'm not going to have a network of computers in my home. Um, my son is a computer kid, but again, kids, kids are wireless people. They're not going to, they're not going to use this cable. So into the e-waste bin it goes. I have this random tissue paper that I've been carrying around for years. I think I found it on the free table at my old apartment and I was like, oh, this is really pretty tissue paper. I can use it for stuffing gift baskets or packing things for shipping. Um, but guess what? I haven't used it. I don't use it. Many Christmases have gone by. I don't pack gifts with this stuff. It's the wrong colors. I don't use these colors. I kind of hate orange. I like Halloween. I don't love orange. And so whenever it's holiday time or whatever, I don't want to use the orange paper. So you'd think I would use the green paper, but I always forget about the green paper because, because it's stuffed in the bottom of a closet somewhere and I don't remember it. And then when I remember it, I always think, oh, we'll use it next year. I'm not gonna use it next year. I won't remember it next year. I don't wanna throw them away because they're perfectly good tissue papers. Their time is over. They're going to the recycle bin today. And here is an adorable little stamp dispenser that somebody gave me. Um, they gave it to me because I love to mail things. I use a lot of stamps, but here's the problem. This little stamp dispenser is for those little coils of stamps. And I don't use coiled stamps because I kind of hate them because they bore me because it's like 500 or a hundred or however many stamps of the same design. And I get, I get bored. I don't, I don't like them. Um, I like to get the, the cute commemorative stamps on the sheets, so I'll never use this because I don't use coiled stamps. Um, and then I didn't want to throw it away because it's cute and someone gave it to me. But if I don't use it, it's just cute garbage. And here is a random little bottle of lens cleaner that I've been carrying around for since my son was around four years old, 16 years. This came with a um, little camcorder 
that I'm also decluttering in this challenge. And, and as you know, I didn't get a whole lot of use out of the camcorder and it makes sense that therefore I didn't get much use out of the lens cleaner. But the other thing I have, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but uh, for things like lens cleaner like this, I, I don't use them much because in my head, I perceive it as like too fancy or expensive to use too much because I don't want to have to buy a new one. Um, so then I, I conserve it, but then I over conserve it. In other words, I don't use it. And then it just sits around for ages and ages. And then, you know, I do have things with lenses, I guess. So I, I think, well, maybe I will use it for uh, one of those lenses. Um, I don't. I'm not that person. So I don't even know if it's very fancy. Fancy or not, I'm getting rid of it. Finally. And the same goes with this fancy adult toy cleaner product that I bought. Um, I would say probably seven years ago. And it's not that my adult toys don't get any action. It's just that I do clean them but I don't clean them with the fancy specific adult toy cleaner product um, because probably because it's a hassle because I don't store it in a convenient place because I don't know, maybe it's because I grew up Catholic. I store it a little bit in an inconvenient place so that my kid doesn't find it. Um, which is ridiculous, but anyway, it's not in a convenient place, so I don't use it. And um, also, I just like opened it the other day and I realized that I kind of, I don't, it has a funny smell. Um, so if it has a funny smell, I'm not gonna use it. So, um, but I paid for it and I don't know how much I paid for it, but I paid for it enough that I feel bad about throwing it away. But come on, man, it's been seven years. I'm not going to use it. So goodbye, adult toy cleaner product. And here is a random CD that I found in a drawer just the other day. Um, it's a Gregorian Christmas chant CD. I got it from the free table downstairs some time ago. I thought, oh, what a great CD. I'll definitely listen to it during Christmas time because I like Gregorian chants-ish. And um, it's a few days after New Year's. I didn't listen to this at Christmas time. I don't really have a CD player anymore. I would have to find the external CD drive that I could plug into my desktop computer or I don't know maybe my old DVD player might play CDs I don't know but I think my friend's car has a CD player this is going right back to the free table I also found this random little wax um, Jesus and Mary ornament which I don't know what to do with I don't put it on my tree I always think um oh my mom would love this and I keep saying I'm gonna send it to mom but I never do and I think well I'll send it to her with her Christmas card but um I didn't send it to her with her Christmas card this year I didn't even send her a Christmas card um and I got a Christmas card back from her saying what a bad person I was for not sending her a Christmas card um so I need to I have a hard time throwing away things with faces especially if it's got like um like jesus faces and stuff i feel like i'm going to hell if i throw away something like that um I'm probably going to hell anyway but uh i'm gonna mail it to mom today even though it's not christmas whatever mom can figure out what to do with little wax jesus and mary and that's it for today's random stuff video Okay, some of you are in business or had businesses and have some old useless business stuff laying around. 
Well, I had a very short-lived LLC a few years ago, and this corporation binder has been sitting up on my shelf for years. It's been long enough now that I can legally dispose of everything related to that corporation, so I can just pitch this whole box without even opening it. But I had to open it, just to see. And guess what? I could have pitched this thing pretty much the day I got it. I never used this corporate stamper for anything. And this binder is actually just full of generic blank certificates and templates, plus a book from LegalZoom on how to start a corporation. Nothing in this binder was necessary for me to keep. It was just a fill-in-the-blank template kit for me to use. So where are the real corporation documents? Probably a combination of filed away by year with the rest of my tax and financial documents, which I shred on a rotating annual basis every January, and or scanned and stored securely on the cloud.